Welcome to Virtual Guided Reading. This is book number two out of our playlist. So again, like the prior book, prior to reading, we're going to practice a few words. So of course, you're going to need some a dry erase board, a dry erase marker, or paper and pencil, or even if you're if you like to do things old fashioned style, if you have a chalkboard, you can get that as well. <clears throat> so like always, I'm going to demonstrate to you how you're going to practice these, the words that we're going to, the frequently used words that are in this book. Again, you want to make sure that you do not, it's not a speed competition is what I always tell my students. So you want to make sure to practice writing the words um, and doing it at a good pace and not just trying to get ahead. So the first word we're gonna practice is the word here. Here, H, E, R, E. Here. And this is where, um, of course, it's a little more difficult for me to write on these, but um, this is the opportunity that I take to correct my students with their penmanship or with their letter formation, okay, with their spacing. Um, so you want to do that as well. You want to take a look, make sure that their letter formation is there and that if you can give them any tips that you do that. So you're going to practice the word here three times and you need to write it like a list here. H E R E. Here. Here. So go ahead and do that one more time and we'll move on to the next word. The next word is the word like. L I K E like. So do that two more times, just exactly the way that I did it. Okay, now once you are done with your three times, the last word we're going to practice is the word snug. Snug. S-N-U-G. Snug. I chose snug because this is also an opportunity to enhance vocabulary with younger children. So for example, the word snug, I would here tell my students snug when you tight, when you tightly hug something or something is form fitting, that's snug. Okay, so um, I, also this guided reading lesson um, gives you the opportunity to help with vocabulary. So practice snug. We're gonna actually I'll do it with you. Snug, we're gonna do it two more times. S N U G Snug Snug S N U G Snug. Alrighty. <clears throat> So we've practiced snug three times and we're, it's time to move on so that you can start the reading of your book. Remember that if you need help in figuring out a word, look at the first letter and look at the pictures on the book to see what in the picture may start with that first letter. The title of the book is Snug as a Bug. And now you can continue with your reading. Pause it however many times as you need to, okay? <clears throat> 